one of my worry lists with AI in general is you can, you know, I have it on my phone. I can just type in anything and it spits out answers, but it doesn't have references attached to it. So, you know, I tell my students, I don't mind you using AI. Let it give you frameworks for discussion. Uh, let it help you, but you still have to go find the sources to support AI. You just you just can't take AI verbatim, print it out and hand it in as a as a paper. You need to have the re the, the references behind it. So in some ways it could be dangerous, but in other ways, it's forcing people to deliver at a high level. There's so many cool things about it that I think that if we just keep our guardrails up and, and be aware of potential abuses and address them as they come, because sometimes we don't even know what the downside might be yet, right, as, as things evolve. So you're right, I'm very optimistic in what I've seen. Um, at first, I, like anything, a new technology is scary and people are kind of, you know, you kind of give it that Heisman look, you know, kind of kind of keep it at its distance. Uh, but I think the more that we use it, the more we understand it, the more we embrace it, the more we understand its limitations in different arenas, uh, the more that it can be helpful for all of us.